Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Haven't done one in a while, but I'm a busy guy. What can you do? And also, the way the summer went, and I'm not complaining, it was way too warm for me to do this outdoors. And I didn't want to do it indoors, as long as it's nice outdoors. So in other words, now it's actually perfect. So we can do them as long as the weather lasts kind of thing. And then eventually probably we'll do them indoors again. We're looking at the week of August the 6th to August the 12th. There's a full moon on the 11th. But energetically speaking, this week, I'm really not too concerned about the new moon. Not full moon, sorry, new moon. I'm not too too concerned. I just want to really have a look what the overall energy is like. Um, let's have a look. There we go. Right. Interesting. Because oftentimes when I do these readings, I'm actually drawn to two cards. At the moment, I'm actually drawn to just one. And the overall card that we have for the overall energy this week is actually the totem card. And totem is an old, ancient uh, word for uh, family, but it doesn't mean flesh and blood. It just really means the people that you uh, feel are that close to you, that you see them as brothers and sisters and the likes. Right? So it's not necessarily about flesh and blood family. In other words, this week, 6th to the 12th of August, um, pay attention to your loved ones. Um, if there's any peace to be made, do it this week. It's a good week um, to be with those that you really care about, if that makes sense, right? And also, um, don't forget that in this family, there's another person in, in there, and that's you. So if you are a loner, or, you know, by default doesn't have much to do with family, you know, then treat yourself the way you want to be treated, or want to be treated by, by family, and uh, be kind to yourself. So the overall message is to just pay uh, attention because the totem also stands for guardianship. Um, and, you know, you can be a guardian to yourself and to those um, you feel close to. So that's the overall energy. Now we're having a look at what else is going on for the individual star signs. And we're starting with Leo. Let's have a look. Okay. Leos have the cow, and what that really means is for everybody who is Leo, it's important this week to um, be focused again. It actually goes hand in hand with the overall energy here, um, is to be focused on the, on the people that you are with, the people that you love, and see if you can make peace with any situations that are there. So pay closer attention to your family, as it were, this week. and. Um, and also, because you have the cow, um, which uh, loves the kids and stuff very much, it's important that this week you feel you belong. So for you Leos out there, go the extra mile if you need to, but make sure you belong. Okay? So now we're going to Virgo. Virgos, you got the dolphin this week. So you need a bit of space. Um, and the idea here is to, is to realize that sometimes people misunderstand you. When the dolphin shows up, it has to do with his facial expressions, which means he can't really do that many and he always looks like he's smiling. Therefore, he's misunderstood. Um, and in, when in fact, he's a super sensitive being and so are you. Otherwise, he wouldn't be this week's um, animal guide for you. So um, you are quite sensible and quite sensitive. So this week it's important for you to, to um, that doesn't mean you have to take off this week, if that makes sense, but you need, some, you need some space. You need some me time probably and some space. So pay attention to your personal needs and make sure you get them, you get them looked at, right? So now I'm going into Libra. I'm actually drawn to the other deck. Let's see. There's a lot of hay here. It's like <laughs> the middle of a hay thing. There we go. Right. Um, where are we? Libra. We're in Libra now. Um, for the Libra, you got the red wolf. So remember, every wolf is a, a leader. So you are a leader. The red wolf, by default, uh, is red because he actually lives in the desert where um, um, opportunities are scarce and the, 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 the rules of uh, survival are different. So, so pay attention to the things you feel you deserve this week 
and uh, have a look at what is actually lacking where there's an area in your life where you feel like that isn't quite there and then manifest it it's really that important uh, and really that that simple at times to just manifest it ask for it you know claim it that's really important okay going into scorpio Scorpios this week, you got the tiger and when the tiger comes through, and I don't want to be disrespectful to the, to the lion, <laughs> but uh, generally speaking, the lion um, and the tiger get compared a lot. And reality is that the tiger has much more stamina. They usually have sort of the same size, but the tiger by default is stronger. That's, that's why the comparison comes in. In other words, the, the normal comparison says that the lion wouldn't be the king of the jungle if the tiger lived where the lion lives. And that just means that, that even though you are less social, if that makes sense, you, you are a bit of a loner at times. And hence, you know, every lion has unique strips, so you are a unique being. Um, very unique and at times also um, you need to be more self-centered you need to be with yourself if that makes sense so for um, for Scorpios this week it is important to remember and to realize how important it is for you to be happy when you're just by yourself and also because the tiger is one of those few um, big cats that actually loves swimming and kind of stuff water is the element element of renewal um, make sure that you renew yourself this week this would be a perfect week for scorpios to take take a week off right if, if that's possible you know if not there's always the good old doctor i'm not well right <laughs> so all i'm saying is it would actually make sense to scorpios this week to be not bothered by stresses um that you can't control so it would actually be quite good if you actually could take um a week off or, or be away from the normal um, stresses that, that you that you have, right? Going into Sagittarius. Okay, whatever is going on in the life of Sagittarius this week, is that the plural of Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius? I, I really don't. Right. Okay, doesn't matter. In the life of the Sagittarius, <laughs> whatever is going on in your life, <laughs> because you got the turtle, that means it will probably not be fixed this week. Um, the turtle is an animal that obviously is slow moving, that is also very old, in, 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 in a very ancient, um, and that means that you will get there nonetheless. Um, take your time. With, with, with any issues, uh, don't allow your issues to bother you too much, but also don't expect them to be fixed overnight. So uh, pay attention to how you feel about an issue or issues and, 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 and things, and just keep going, you will get there in the end. Right? That was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. For Capricorns, it's quite an easy, um, um, simple, sort of straightforward uh, message because they got, you got the puma, which is also called the mountain lion. And what he does is he's looking for a vantage point from which to look at things. Right. So what you need to do is to um, find that vantage point and look at things from a different point of view. See things from a higher point of view, if that makes sense. Uh, so don't be, um, don't get annoyed with shit. Really, <laughs> don't get annoyed with stuff. Um, just see it from a higher point of view and then make your decisions um, uh, about situations, right? That was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Let's see where we're going. For Aquarius this week, and this is the week of uh, August the 6th to the 12th, it's really important because you do have the brown bear and it's all about femininity the softer side, the self-nurturing side. So for all Aquariuses out there, it's important for you this week to look at yourself, your needs. And you noticed that I actually said that about another star sign with another animal here. So, and we have that quite a lot, that there's overlapping energy and overlapping messages, even though they come from different animals, if that makes sense. So uh, that means that there's an overall energy that sort of plays out this week that, that you need to look after yourself first. 
right? Um, without being too egotistical about it. But look at your nurturing side. It's also interesting because if you are an Aquarius that is by default um, argumentative or a bit stubborn, this kind of stuff, you know, um, then it's important to, to look at it this week and to be calmer about stuff and be more nurturing also in how you deal with others, right? Other than that, it's all good. Now we're going into Pisces, my favorite star sign because I'm a Pisces. Here we go, let's see what the animal guides have got for us Pisces. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> we got the scarab, and I say scarab, I don't say dung beetle, not to be judgmental here. <laughs> but um, what it really means is we got the scarab this week, which is a revered beetle, right? And when you look at the dung beetle, he's doing uh, an awful lot of work on behalf of, of the planet. And so what that really means is, and that's also the message of, of um, insects as such, is how important uh, you are as a, as a being. So pay attention this week, uh, not just where you are being, where you are needed, um, but, but remember if you have a low, where you kind of feel like, you know, it's all, all shite, nothing really works, you know, take a deep breath, and soldier on, you will you will be fine, you are important. Um, the messages that you give to people uh, do mean something, right? So don't lose face this week for all, uh, for all us uh, Pisces here. Uh, going into Aries. Okay, Aries, super easy. Things will come to you this week. Just stay calm and opportunities will come to you. You got the heron, he's a, a bird that sort of hangs on, you know, stays on one leg all day and when the fish comes he goes, thank you. <laughs> so don't get stressed out this week. Um, don't don't get annoyed by anything. Opportunities will come to you this week. Do not, there's no need to chase anything. Uh, when, when you feel and people say like, oh, you have to make a decision, right? Even if it is true that there's a deadline to anything, you do not need to make a decision per se opportunities will come to you and what that really means is if you feel yes I want to make a decision about it then do it from that point of view don't be talked into stuff don't feel you need to do something opportunities will come to you right there was Aries going into Taurus also interesting because I just talked about Aries and as I talked about you um, there was a, a little ant going here and when another animal comes in um, while giving a message, then it also the, the message uh, that you are not alone. Right? Remember, you belong to a much larger group. You are not alone, no matter what, what you're going through. Right? Um, going into Tauruses. Whatever happens in the life of, of the Taurus this week, you need to allow more time for things to become clear if that makes sense, right? So, so uh, again, seems to be the, the theme of the week. Don't rush anything. Things will develop um, the, way, the way they should, really. Um, but stay calm and allow things to play out a little longer before you make any decisions on it, right? That was Taurus going to Gemini, which is the second last um, star sign for the week. And then we go into Cancer, last star sign of the week. Here we go. So, Gemini, you have the peacock, and the peacock is an interesting guy in, in the sense that he has this beautiful wheel, and um, he actually puts it up not to impress someone, but to keep predators at bay. So sometimes you are being misunderstood if you feel at times that your best weapon is to actually be super nice to people or even show offish, it doesn't work, right? Um, there's a part of you that wants to keep people at bay. Um, if that's the case, speak your mind and walk away from things. Really, really important, okay? So that was the peacock for Gemini, and now we're going uh, into can Cancerians. Cancer, the last star sign. And mine. You're your, your star <laughs> sign, absolutely. Yes. For, for this week. It's quite interesting, you got the raven. And the raven mm. is associated with, with illumination and magic and... Um, um, well, spirituality really. Um, so for all you Cancerians, not just for you there, <laughs> um, it's important to realize that when people, and this is what, what I'm getting the strongest here, when people talk, well, I have to say the way I hear it, bullshit about you, focus. 
<laughs> in other words, when people are negative about cancerians, pay no attention. Don't fight them, just pay no attention. You're not in the picture. When people talk about you, it is their opinion. It is not necessarily reality or truth or anything. Just remember, don't fight them, right? Stand, stand your ground if you have to, uh, in the sense that, that you um, walk away from stuff. You don't need to fight anybody. Really, really important. As the raven, which is also the animal of transformation together with the crow, you are changing anyway. You will outgrow situations. You will just leave them behind. So it really is all good, but it, good, but it is important for, for Cancerians this week to when you are being bad-mouthed by, by anybody and you, you, you hear it, to not pay attention. It has got nothing to do with you. Other people's opinion mean squat, right? So don't, don't give a hoot, if that makes sense, right? So that was the week of August the 6th to the 12th. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it being here in the sun and everything. Um, um, like I said, you know, um, has been a while. I don't know when the next one is coming, right? So we'll see, you know, check this page. Um, it's all here on the, on the bottom line, on the bottom of the, of the screen. We always put the, the pages there. So pay attention when, when, when we're on next time and have fun. Bye-bye.